District, the next step in the process to confirm acting police chief Pamela Smith to the job full time and it's coming on the heels of Mayor Mariel Bowser releasing a new plan to tackle a rise in crime we're seeing in the district. Jess Arnold was at the meeting where that plan was announced. She joins us live right now from police headquarters. Good morning to you, Jess. Good morning. Yeah, well, the big thing today is that uh, the Judiciary and Public Safety Committee of the Council is going to be moving to confirm acting police chief Pamela Smith. Now that's happening at three o'clock this afternoon. The full council still needs to approve her confirmation for it to be official. Let's talk through some of the highlights of this new crime bill. Now it revives a couple of laws from a year, from years ago, like allowing peace to police to control well known open air drug markets and prohibiting people from wearing a ski mask or something similar while committing a crime or intending to commit a crime. It also establishes a new crime, organized retail theft in response to complaints from stores like CVS and Giant that young people are clearing their shelves. Another component is changing wording in some of the George Floyd era reforms, like redefining what's considered a chokehold or a neck restraint, because the chief says right now any touch of the neck is considered a serious use of force. And it's going to allow p police to review body worn camera footage before writing their reports to avoid discrepancies, which the acting chief says is a national best practice. The ACLU, though, is not happy about the legislation. They released a statement that says, in part, it appears to be more focused on protecting police officers when they break the law than on improving public safety, a move that does little to foster public trust. Now, one concerned Capitol Hill neighbor tagged me on X, formerly known as Twitter, saying, plan is good, but words aren't enough. What's it going to take to get action? How many more crimes? Where are the parrots? One local pastor seems to share the sentiment that it's not just up to police. I think it's promising. You know, I'm glad that people are, are talking about it. It's got to be accountability on, I think, both sides. And I really would like to see the community and families getting involved. Council member Pinto, who chairs that Judiciary and Public Safety Committee, said she's committed to holding a hearing this fall on the legislation. Seven of the 13 council members will have to approve it for the bill to pass. Outside D.C. Police Headquarters, Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.